we're going to talk about shiny object syndrome. Most realtors are like a cat chasing a laser. <laughs> like a one-eyed dog at a meat market, just chasing the next thing that's around. Everybody chasing the next thing. You walk into the office, oh, I've got this, ooh, let's try that. Oh, I just did this, ooh, let's try that. And then what happens is most people are working from home now. 84% of agents are working from home. And you're getting pounded, pounded, pounded. You need this, you need this, you need this. You need this next shiny object. Why? Because I don't have enough value in myself. So maybe if I have this shiny object, I'll be more valuable. That's what it all comes down to. So we chase the shiny objects. Here's the next symptoms of the trap. Spending time and money and not analyzing the results. The reason some of these guys have been able to get away with this stuff is that nobody's asking the questions. I'm telling you, there were 28,000 realtors at the National Association of Realtors convention in San Diego last November. Joe Nego and I went on the last day and walked up to the Zillow booth with two hours to go, and three people, two supervisors in the booth, no one had asked them, if I pay you this much, how much will I get back? Nobody had asked them. Be thorough when you make your investments. I ask people when they invest with us, be thorough that it's the right investment for you, and here's the rates of return. How prevalent is it? Seven out of 10 agents surveyed are spending money on online leads and promotion right now. Here's the thing. The fact of the matter is, we, we go through these different things, we look at the, you gotta say, if I do this, I get that. If you do this, I get that. What's the analyzation of the results, okay? If I'm gonna spend this, what am I gonna get? You gotta ask those questions. You gotta ask those questions.